So the question is, what's special about the diagonals of a rhombus? So we have a, a variety of rhombuses here. By saying diagonals, we mean if you were to connect the opposite sides, sorry, the opposite angles like this. So these are the diagonals of a rhombus. Okay, so you're going to find out that they form right angles here, 90 degrees. And then they also bisect each other. So this diagonal would divide these two sides up in half. So this side, this segment here will be the same length as this segment here. So let's put it on paper. You can say that the diagonals of a rhombus bisect. So let's say they bisect. Bisect means cut in half. Each other at right angles okay so they form 90 degrees when at the point where they cross okay so let's look at another example here the diagonals of this rhombus here so connect the opposite angle here like this you'll find that if you draw it close enough, you're going to see that there's going to be a 90 degree angle here. So that's what we mean by bisecting each other at right angles. So it also divides the two diagonals in half. So this will be the same as this. This length here will be the same as this length here, believe it or not. Okay. So, let's look at one more. Draw in the diagonal for this square. So, here goes, like this. So again, it might not look like it, but you have a right angle here. And then you can say that the length of this here is the same as the length of that. So you can indicate that this segment is congruent to that segment there. And then likewise, this is the same as that. So you can say this segment is uh, congruent to this segment here. So altogether, you can conclude that diagonals, they are perpendicular. Perpendicular, meaning they make 90 degrees at the point of intersection.